Hey, how's it going viewers? Sorry, it's been a minute since I've made a video, but just had to put this one out there. So this is my uh, my son's Alcatraz shoebox project. Typically, they do these around fourth or fifth grade, but my son chose Alcatraz and um, just had to get down on this one. <laughs> and um, actually, you might be surprised, but he actually con contributed to this quite a bit. It wasn't like all dad here, um, he actually chiseled out this rock portion out of a, a solid piece of um, styrofoam and actually painted this entire thing himself. He did most of the cutting and then uh, helped me glue down a, a couple things as well. And then I did all the, uh, the printing and I purchased the, uh, the foliage, the trees, and um, uh, some, some hot glue and things like that. But as you can see here, it actually is lighted. That's not just um, part of the print or anything like that. If you look up behind this panel here, you can see the two LED lights. And I, I picked those up specifically because they were literally like spotlights. I uh, had a direct beam straight down. So that's why I wanted, I wanted those in particular to act like the spotlights of the prison. And it's kind of simplified overall, but came out really, really good. You have the, uh, the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge in the background uh, with the, uh, the water, of course. A um, couple trees, like I said, some foliage. Um, the glue I used was was all hot glue here, um, just because the, uh, the the quick drying times and it also adhered really well to the styrofoam pieces. Um, so the rock is styrofoam. This actually, the building itself, the prison, is actually styrofoam as well with a printed wrap over it. Um, it even has a concrete kind of texture on top as well. This paper I found at Michael's. It's just got some reflective little bits and pieces here but it comes out really good, especially in the classroom with the brighter lights as well. Um, I'll show you in a second with the lights turned off um, how cool it looks, but wanted to get you a real quick close-up look. Of course, you had some uh, some little sailboats. These are just some 2D printed pieces just to kind of finish off the look there. A little water, water tower in the background. Like I said, a couple trees. Those are actually Christmas trees and I folded the top part of them down just to round them off a little bit better. And then uh, separately, I have the uh, the U.S. Penitentiary sign uh, taped onto the uh, the front of that there came out really cool. But other than that, uh, the styrofoam, like I said, my kid painted it. I told him to do kind of a mishmash of uh, gray, greens, and browns. Um, if I were to do that personally, of course, I would have got a little bit more detail and did like the actual ramps for like the buses to take the prisoners up and down and things like that. But like I said, I, I wanted him to uh, contribute as much as possible. And uh, surprise, surprise, he got an A plus on this damn thing. <laughs> all the work we put into it, all the hard work and dedication and time and effort paid off. Um, actually, his teacher asked him if, if uh, she could keep this in the classroom, I'm guessing for uh, future uh, school examples and things like that. But I, I said, nah, man, we gotta take that home. This is going in a plexiglass case or something, man. This is too freaking awesome to uh, to leave in the classroom. Um, but yeah, I'm actually surprised that he chose Alcatraz. I love Alcatraz and the whole history behind it and everything like that. And this is actually the second shoebox Alcatraz project I've done. I did this for my older kid uh, probably about five years ago and it did not come out nearly as slick as this one did. So this is my, kind of my second stab at it and uh, came out awesome. And I also have a uh, three-year-old daughter, so <laughs> we'll see in the future if she chooses Alcatraz as well, and then I'll, I'll ramp it up even better. But anyways, guys, just wanted to show you an example of this here Alcatraz project that I completed with my son. Hopefully this gives you some insight and some ideas on how to uh, complete your own kids' projects with your kid. <laughs> Not telling you to do it, but kind of complete it and do it as a team with your child. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Alcatraz. Peace.